So welcome back to my crash course on Next.js. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at get initial props. So get initial props allows us to get data and work with data. So basically what it does, it, it enables server-side rendering in a page and allows us to do initial data population. So meaning that it sends the page with the data already there from the server. And this is helpful for a lot of different things, except including SEO. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our new project and I'm going to create a new file and call this github.js. So first let's define our standard page. So to use get initial props, all we need to do is come down here, write the name of the file dot get initial props. We can call it just like that. And this is an async function, so we need to call it as such. There we go. And now we can put our data fetching inside of here. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a basic API API call to the GitHub API. So I'm going to say const res equals await, and then we'll fetch, and the URL we will be fetching is https colon slash slash api dot github dot com slash users slash, and then here you can put your username or my username, so I'm going to use mine, slash repos. And this, anyone can access this, all this will do is show the public repositories for this user, in my case, myself. Next we need to serialize that and convert it to JSON, so we can say const JSON is equal to await res.json, just like that. And now we have all the data inside of here. So I'm just going to say const projects, because that is what we're getting, is equal to JSON. And then we can simply return that like this. So we can say projects equal to projects, just like that. And then what we can do is up here, we can access that by passing in projects. And then we can use it by declaring a tag, just like this. And for example, we could say projects. But if we do this, it will not work because this projects here is a list. And we cannot pass in a list in a p tag. So we need to say projects, grab the first item, dot ID. And you'll see what this is in a second. So let me go ahead and run this server with yarn uh, dev. And we can go grab that page here. So refresh. And then we'll go to slash GitHub. And there we go. So we see our get initial props and then this ID here. So inside of here, right here, we go and open up this script tag. We can see these are all the props that are being passed in. So all of this data here is being fetched from the API. And as you can see, this is the ID that we're getting. So it's the first one. So if I change this to name, I should get benjamincarlson.io. So let me go do that. Instead of dot ID, we'll say dot name and there we go, benjamincarlson.io. And then say I didn't want to fetch anything. Say I didn't want to fetch all any of that. Well, I can simply return data using get initial props like this. I can just say const name is equal to Ben. And I can pass that in here by saying name. And I can say that's equal to name. And then I can grab that up here and I can use it in here. Now right here, this should say Ben. We'll refresh because there we go. And now we get Ben, just like that. So that is how you can use 
get initial props to pass data using server-side rendering. Now, I will note that if you're using Next.js 9.3 or newer, this is not the recommended way. It's recommended that you use get static props or get server-side props instead of get initial props. So in the next videos, I'm going to show you exactly how to use that.